Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Melting Math. In this video, we are going to discuss about numbers, which is in the 6th standard max Tamil Nadu new syllabus term 1 and it is a chapter 1. Okay. So, in numbers, there are variation of numbers are there. For example, whole numbers, decimal numbers, fractional numbers, like so many variation of numbers are there. But in this unit, we are going to discuss about greatest numbers and the smallest numbers okay before going to see about this greatest and the smallest numbers we need to know some greatest and the smallest numbers and also it in words okay so first see 10 how can you write 10 just write 1 then write 0 so 10 means there should be the 1 0 okay next how can you write 20 20 means just write 2 then write 0 that is 20 okay then how can you write 80? 80 means just write 8, then put 10. So 10 means there should be 10. Okay. So next we will see about the 100. How can you write 100? 100 means there should be 20. So first write 1, then write 20. This is 100. Okay. Next how can you write 200? 200 means just write 2, then write 20 with it. So 100 means there should be 20 that's why we put 20 here okay so next 900 how can you write 900 just write 9 then write two digits of 0 with it so that's it it becomes 900 okay so 100 means there should be 20 you should remember this okay next 1000 how can you write 1000 1000 means there should be 30 okay so let's first write 1000 first write 1 then write three digits of 0 if the number has a three digits of zero means that comes under thousand okay so if someone asks you to write five thousand means how can you write first write five then write three digits of zero with it so if a number has three digits of zero means what that comes under thousand okay i will clear about it if someone asks you write six thousand means how can you write just write six then write three digits of zero with it because three digit of zero consider as 1000 okay so here we wrote the 6000 here okay that's it this is how uh, we can easily find out the thousands okay and we can easily write the thousands okay next 10,000 how can you write 10,000 10,000 means there should be four zeros or else like thousand here what they asked 10,000 so just write 10 first then 1000 means there should be three zero then write three digits of zero with it now it becomes 10,000 on combiningly you can see the four digits of zero so a number which has a four digit of zero that comes under 10,000 okay next if someone ask you to write 70,000 means how can you write okay so as it is like the thousand here they ask 70,000 okay just like 70 first then thousand means there should be three zero then write 30 with it. Now it becomes 70,000. And combiningly, you can see the four digits of zero are there. So that comes under the 10,000. Okay. Next, how can you write 90,000? So 90,000. Yeah, they ask 90,000. So first write 90. Then 1000 means there should be the 30. So just write three digits of zero with it. Now it becomes 90,000. Okay, I will clear about it. Next, we are going to see about lakh. So, lakh means there should be the five zeros, okay. So, first write uh, one lakh. One lakh means first write one. Then, as I said, lakh means there should be five zero. Then, write five digits of zero with it. Now, it becomes one lakh. If someone asks you to write three lakh means, how can you write first write three. Then, lakh means there should be five zero. So, then write five digits of zero with it. Now, it becomes three lakh. Okay, next if someone asks you to write 6 lakhs means how can you write? Same like that, first write 6, then lakhs means there should be 5 zero. So just write 5 digits of 0 with it, now it becomes 6 lakh. Okay, I will clear about it, lakh means there should be 5 zeros. Okay, so next 10 lakh. In 10 lakh there are totally 6 zeros are there or else uh, as it is uh, like a uh, lakh here they ask 10 lakh so first write 10 then lakh means there should be 5 zero so just write 5 digits of zero with it on combiningly you can see the 6 digits of zero so the number has a 6 digit of zero means that comes under 10 lakh okay 
so if someone ask you to write 30 lakh means how can you write first write 30 then lakh means there should be 5 0 so then write 5 digits of 0 with it now we got a 30 lakh on combiningly you can see the six zeros with it the number which has six zero means that comes under 10 lakh okay i will clear about it next if someone ask you to write 50 lakh means how can you write so just write 50 then lakh means there should be five zero then write five digits of zero with it on combiningly you can see there are totally six zeros are there so it comes under 10 lakh okay next crore crore means there should be seven zero okay first write one crore one crore means first write one then write seven digits of zero with it so a number which has seven digit of zero means that comes under the crore okay next if someone ask you to write seven crore means how can you write first write seven then crore means there should be seven zeros so then write seven digits of zero with it now it becomes seven crore okay i will clear about it next if someone ask you to write 9 crore means how can you write first write 9 then write 7 digits of zeros with it now it becomes 9 crore so crores means there should be 7 digits of zeros okay next 10 crore 10 crore means there should be the 8 digits of zeros okay or else like crore we can also write 10 crore okay first here they ask 10 crore so just write 10 first then crore means there should be the seven digits of zero so just write seven digits of zero with it now combiningly you can see the eight digits of zero so it comes under the 10 crore okay next if someone ask you to write 80 crore means how can you write so first write 80 then crore means there should be the seven zeros so just write seven digits of zeros with it on combiningly you can see the eight digits of zero so it comes under the 10 crore okay next if someone ask you to write 60 crore means how can you write first write 60 then write seven digits of zero so on combiningly you can get the eight digits of zero so it comes under the 10 crore okay have you all clear about it so most of them are confused with this zeros of the largest numbers so that's why i came up with this table I hope this helps you to clear about the zeros of the largest numbers as well as the smallest numbers okay so let's move on next greatest numbers okay now we are going to see about some uh, questions based on the greatest numbers which is in your chapter okay so let's see the first one which is the greatest one digit number okay so how many one digits are there okay let me know how many one digits are there uh, that are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Up to 9, there are 10 one digit numbers are there. Among that, which one is the greatest number? Definitely 9 is the greatest number. So, the greatest one digit number is 9. Okay, they will ask a question in this chapter and all. So, what is the greatest one digit number? That means you can just put 9 because that is the greatest one digit number. Similarly, if they ask what is the greatest two digit number means, how can you write? It's similar to greatest one digit only. So, just write two digits of nine. Okay, that is the greatest two digit number. You have to observe the questions first. Here they ask greatest number and how many digits they asked. That is a two digit. Okay, so two digit means just put two digits of nine. That is the greatest two digit number. If somehow they ask what is the greatest six digit number means how can you write first see the question here they ask greatest numbers and how many digits they are asked that is a six digit so just write six digits of nine that is the greatest six digit number okay i will clear about it next if they asked what is the greatest ten digit number means how can you write just write 10 digits of 9 that is the greatest 10 digit number okay i will clear about it if they ask the greatest digit number means first you have to see how many digits they asked just put the digits of 9 based on the digit they asked in the question i will clear about it 
Next, we are going to see about smallest numbers. Yes, we are going to see some questions which is asked in this chapter based on the smallest numbers. Okay, so uh, first see the first one, smallest two digit number. What is the smallest two digit number? So, if they ask the smallest two digit number, means you have to see the question first. Here they ask the smallest number and how many digits they are asked that is a two digit okay so just you should put the first digit as one that remaining one digit is there just write zero that digit okay so 10 10 is the smallest two digit number okay similarly if they ask what is the smallest four digit number means just see how many digits they are asked that is a four digit okay so just write the first digit as one then remaining three digits are there then write three digits of zero this is the smallest four digit number and you can see here this number is having three digits of zero so it comes under thousand we already discussed no so it comes under thousand so the smallest four digit number is thousand okay if somehow they asked what is the smallest six digit number means how can you write first see the question here they asked the smallest number and how many digits they are asked that is a six digit okay so just write first digit as one next remaining five digits are there so write five digits of zero with it now this is the smallest six digit number okay so if a number has five digits of zero means that comes under lakh okay we already discussed it okay so smallest six digit number is lakh okay next if they ask what is the smallest eight digit number means just observe the question here they asked the smallest number and how many digits and that is a eight digit so just write first digit as one remaining seven digits are there so just write seven digits of zero with it now it becomes the smallest eight digit number okay so if a number has a seven digits of zero means what that comes under crore okay you need to remember this i already make a chart in this video beginning to know the number of zeros of the largest numbers okay so the smallest eight digit number is a crore okay now we are clear about it next we are going to see about number system okay so in india we are using one type of number system we called it as a indian system apart from the india they are using one type of number system we called that as international system okay first see about the indian system this uh, Indian system and the international systems are only differ in its place value only. So just make the place value chart of the Indian system. Okay. So we always used to place the value of the numbers from last digit to first digit. So definitely the last digit of the number should comes in the ones place. We represent it as O and the next digit comes under tens place. We represent it as T. And the next digit comes under hundreds place we represent it as h and the next digit comes under thousands place we represent it as th and the next digit comes under ten thousands place we represent it as t th and the next digit comes under lakhs place we represent it as l and the next digit comes under ten lakh place we represent it as tl and the next digit comes under crores place we represent it as c Next digit comes under 10 crores, we represent it as TC. You need to read this column, okay. This place value chart is very important because in this chapter, exercise question and all, they are asked so many questions based on this place value chart of Indian system. So this is the place value chart of a Indian system, okay. You need to remember this place value. Let's see one example for the Indian system, okay. So let's see this number how can you read this number or how can you write this number in words definitely it's difficult to read and write because this number is having uh, more number of digits so we can't easily read this number it's odd only so for reading this number and writing this number in words we need to make the place value chart okay so just make the place value chart for a indian system okay we know definitely the last digit of the number should always be in the ones place the next digit is a tens place and the next digit is in hundreds place next thousands next ten thousands next lakh next ten lakh next crore next 
10 crore this is the indian system place values okay so next we have to arrange that a number in that correct place values okay so here the last digit that is a one that comes under the ones place the next digit two comes under tens place next four comes under hundreds place next eight comes under thousands place next six comes under ten thousand place next four comes under lakhs place next nine comes under ten lakh place next five comes under crores place next three comes under ten crore place that's it here we make a place value chart but this is not enough for us to read that number to pronounce that number for reading that number and writing that number in the words we need to know one more row that is called the periods okay so based on these uh, place values they are representing some periods okay so let's see about the periods here the last three digits ones tens hundreds are comes under the ones period next two digit thousand ten thousands are comes under the thousands periods next two digit lakh ten lakh are comes under the lakhs periods next crore ten crore are comes under the crores periods okay now we arranged that place values into the periods so on seeing that periods we can easily write that numbers in words and we can easily read that number okay so just see this period first see in the crores period 35 is there so just write 35 crores next in the lakhs periods 94 is there then just write 94 lakhs in thousands periods 68 is there so just write 68 thousands in ones period 421 is there so just write 421 that's it now we can read it fully 35 crore 94 lakh 68421 that's it this is how you have to read that number so this period will help us to read that number in the easy way okay by using this period itself we can easily write the commas okay so just see here here the ones tens hundred this three digits are comes under ones period so just put comma after three digits from backwards okay because the three are comes under ones period next thousand ten thousand this two digits are comes under the thousands period so next just put comma after two digits because the two digits are comes under thousand periods next in the lakh periods also two digits are there so just put comma after two digits and next crores period also there are two digits are there so we don't need to put comma in front of the number so just don't put the comma that's it this is how you have to put comma for the indian system okay so the place values are helped us to place the values of the digit in the correct manner and the periods are helped us to read and write that number in the easy way okay so for writing that comma in the indian system we have one shortcut yes if any number is there in the indian system if they asked you to put a comma for the indian system means just put a comma after three digits from backwards then put comma for every two digit that's it this is the comma rules for the indian system this is shortcut okay so but basically we have to put comma based on the periods only okay so that's it this is the indian system place values okay i discussed briefly with the example also okay next we are going to see about international system okay as i said these systems are differs only in the place values okay so let's see the place value chart of the international system so we always used to put the place value from last digit to front digit okay so here the last digit place value should be in the ones place the next digit is in tens place and the next digit is in hundreds place and the next digit is in thousand place and the next digit is in 10000 place okay up to this the indian system and the international system are having the same place values but after that in the indian system we used to write lakh but here they are writing 100000 okay after that in indian system we used to write 10 lakh but here they are writing million after that in indian system we used to write crore but here they are writing 10 million after that in indian system we used to write 10 crore but here they are writing 100 million 
okay this is the place values of the international system you need to read this place values because in exercise sums and all there are so many questions are there based on this place value of the international system okay so let's see one example of a international system place value just take the same number as an example okay so as i said it is very difficult to read and write these numbers in the words so for reading and writing this number we need to make the place value chart okay so just uh, write the place values of the international system okay what is the international system place value as we discussed the last digit of the number should be in the ones place and the next is in tens next hundreds next thousands next ten thousands next hundred thousands next million next 10 million next 100 million okay have i clear about it so then we have to place the digits in the correct place okay so in this number the last digit that is the one comes under the ones place and next two comes under tens place next four comes under hundred place next eight comes under thousands place next six comes under ten thousand place next four comes under hundred thousand place next 9 comes under million plus next 5 comes under 10 million plus next 3 comes under 100 million plus now we wrote the place values and we wrote the digits in the correct places okay so this is not enough for us to read that number in the correct uh, pronunciation so for reading that number we need the periods okay so here also the period plays a major role to read and write that number okay so just see here the last three digits ones tens hundreds are comes under the ones period and the next three digits thousand ten thousand hundred thousands are comes under thousands periods and the next three digit million ten million hundred million are comes under the millions periods okay so on seeing that periods we can easily write that numbers and we can easily read this number okay let's see in million periods 359 is there so just write 359 million in thousand periods 468 is there so just write 468 thousands in once period 421 is there so just write 421 that's it and conveniently you can read this there are 359 million 468 thousands 421 okay this is how we have to read that number and we have to write that number in the words okay so based on the periods only we are also putting comma in these numbers okay as i said just see here ones tens under these three digits are comes under the ones period so just put comma after three digits from backwards next thousand ten thousand hundred thousands are comes under thousands periods so just put a comma after three digits because the three digits are comes under thousands periods next million ten million hundred million these three digits are comes under the millions periods so we don't need to put the comma in front of the number so that's it this is how we have to put the comma in the international system place value okay so uh, one shortcut is there for putting the comma in the international system just put a comma after every three digit from backwards okay that is a uh, short rule for uh, putting the comma in the international system okay next we are going to see about the successor and predecessor okay so first see about successor what is a successor when one is added to a number we get its successor okay let's see the example the first question is what is a successor of 36 okay first you need to observe the question because question is very important so here they ask the successor successor means we have to add one with the given number okay so here the given number is 36 so just write 36 then add one with it so 36 plus 1 is equal to 37 okay so the successor of 36 is 37 let's make the basic addition okay so just write the given number that is a 36 and write the place value of each digit so here the 6 is in the ones place and 3 is in the tens place so now we have to add 1 okay so that 1 is in which place value that is in the ones place so we have to 
write that one in below of the ones place because you can see here the six and the one or comes under the ones place that's why we are returning that one under the six so if you write that one in the tens place that is means if you are adding the three plus one we get the four that is a wrong answer so we always used to do to arrange the both numbers in the place values then we have to add that number so here the six and the one or comes under the ones place that's why we wrote it as a one by one so just add this here the six plus one is a seven then three in below there is no number so just write as it is so 37 so the successor of 36 is 37 okay next is the another question what is the successor of 1029 okay just observe the question here they asked the successor successor means we have to add one with the given number so just write the given number that is 1029 just here they asked the successor so just add one with it so 1029 plus 1 is 1030 okay so the successor of 1029 is 1030 okay let's write the basic addition so first write the given number that is 1029 then write the place values of each digit so here the last digit 9 comes under the ones place and next tens next hundreds next thousands so here we are adding one so that one is in the which place value that is in the ones place so you should write that one in below of the ones digit number okay so now you can add this 9 plus 1 is what that is a 10 here the 1 is a carry you should put that 1 in the top of the next place value and write that 0 below next you have to add the 2 number that is a 2 plus 1 is a 3 just write it below and the 0 1 other below there is no number so just write as it is 0 1 so now we get a 1030 that's it the successor of 1029 is 1030 okay have I clear about it this is the successor successor means nothing but you have to add one with the given number that is the successor okay next predecessor when one is subtracted from a number we get this predecessor okay let's see some examples what is a predecessor of 36 as I said first we need to observe the question what they are asked here is predecessor of 36 so predecessor means we have to subtract one from the given number just write the given number that is 36 then subtract one from it we can get 35 so the predecessor of 36 is 35 okay let's write the basic subtraction okay just write the given number that is 36 and we are subtracting the 1 so the place value of 1 is in the 1's place so just write that 1 in below of that 1's place so now subtract this 6 minus 1 is 5 then in below of 3 there is no number so just write as it is so we get a 35 so the predecessor of 36 is 35 ok I will clear about it next is another question what is a predecessor of 1030 so first observe the question here they asked the predecessor so predecessor means we have to subtract one from the given number so just write the given number that is a 1030 and subtract one from it we can get 1029 so the predecessor of 1030 is 1029 okay so let's make the basic subtraction first write the given number that is a 1030 and write the place values of each digit the last digit comes under ones and the next digit is in the tens next hundreds next thousands so here we are subtracting one year so that the place value of one is in the ones place so just write that one in below of the ones place so now subtract this so 0 minus 1 we cannot subtract 1 from 0 so borrow 1 from the next digit so if we borrowed 1 from the 3 means the 3 becomes 2 and that next digit is 0 becomes 10 so just subtract 10 minus 1 we get a 9 and the next digit we already borrowed so now 2 is there so just write 2 as it is and 0 as it is and 1 as it is okay so we got 
1029 so the predecessor of 1030 is 1029 okay that's it predecessor means it's nothing but we have to subtract one from the given number okay have you clear about it next we are going to see about comparing numbers comparing numbers is nothing but among two or three numbers we have to find which is the greatest number and which is the smallest number okay so let's see one example here 14569 is one number and 3876 is another number okay so just write these two numbers separately then we have to write place value for each numbers okay so first write this number place value here the last digit is in the ones place next tens next hundreds next thousands next ten thousand okay so this number is comes under ten thousands okay so next uh, write the place value of another number here the last digit six comes under the ones place and the next is in the tens next hundreds next thousands okay so this number is comes under the thousand value okay so which is the greatest one on seeing the place of the each digit only we can easily find out which is the greatest number and which is the smallest number yes here this number is having in the place of thousands but this number is in the place of ten thousand so which is the greatest number definitely the number which is having the ten thousand place is the greatest number so we have to put the symbol like here here you need to know one thing here the open side denotes the greatest number on other side you can see the closed side of the symbol that denotes the smallest number so among these two digit the numbers in the left side is the greatest number and the number in the right side is the smallest numbers so this is how we represent the symbol okay let's see the next question it is a 51732 is a one number and 51767 is a another number okay just write these two numbers separately and write the place values of each numbers okay so first take this number here the last digit 2 comes under the ones place next tens next hundreds next thousand next ten thousand so this number is comes under ten thousand let's see the another number here the last digit 7 is in the ones place next tens next hundreds next thousand next ten thousand so this is also comes under the ten thousands okay if the places of the digits are same means next we have to see the values of each places okay so here the first digit that is in the 5 is in the ten thousand place there also 5 is there in the ten thousand place so these two are same next digit in the thousand place it is having one that is also having one in hundreds place it is having seven that is also having seven in tens place it is having three but it is having six which is the greatest number definitely six is the greatest number okay so the number placed in the right side is the greatest number okay now we are clear about it first we have to compare the numbers based on the places next we have to see the values of each places to identify which is in the great number and which is the lowest number okay we represent it as in the this symbol we already discussed the open side of the symbol denotes the greatest number so the number placed in the right side is the greatest number so it denotes on the right side next closed part of the symbol denotes the smallest number so here the left side number denotes the smallest number so among these two number this is the greatest number and this is the smallest number okay have i clear about it next see the another example just write 65231 is a one number and 65231 is a another number okay so just write these two numbers separately then first write the place of this number this last digit one comes under the ones place and next tens next hundreds next thousand next ten thousand okay this number comes under ten thousands next write the place value of that number that last digit one comes under ones place next tens next hundreds next thousand next ten thousand this is also comes under the ten thousand so if the places of the numbers are same means we have to see the values of each places okay so let's see this number here in the ten thousand place it is having six that is also having six in the thousand place it is having five that is also having five in the hundred place it is having two that is also having two in tens place 
this is having 3 that is also having 3 in one's place this is having 1 that is also having 1 so both the values of the each places are also same so here the places and the place values of the each digit are same so these two numbers are equal to each other okay have you all clear about it okay that's it so you need to draw the place value chart for exercise sums because that is also having certain marks okay so that's it this is the introduction class on the upcoming videos we can see the try these sums and the exercise sums and all okay so that's it subscribe to our channel melting math and don't forget to press the bell icon